Okay, in this video, we are gonna take a look at offloading your footage onto an awesome hard drive like the My Passport Wireless SSD. It's my go-to hard drive. Uh, I love to take uh, footage from my iPhone or iPad uh, and then send it over to it where I can take it into my editing system later, whether it's LumaFusion on the iPad Pro or to my desktop where I can edit in Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro. And I just love the fact that I've got it on a nice secure hard drive. I don't have to deal with the phone right now and uh, I'm ready to go and start editing. I'm a big believer of having a backup anyway. So if you do believe uh, that you're fine with just having it on the phone, let me tell you, or iPad, let me tell you that there's been mishaps where they have gone wrong. Something has happened and the footage might be gone or I've dropped it and it broke and I can't get into it now. Anyway. You can imagine all the different scenarios, but it's just nice to have it backed up and ready to go. And it's very, very simple to do. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the app store here and I, I type in my passport and I look for WD my cloud. And this is the app that you're going to want. As you can see right there in the front, you see the photo of the Western digital right there as well. So we're going to download this. Of course, I have this already on this device and we're going to download that now. And let's just go back to the beginning. So before I do any of this, I've got to connect it to the app uh, and have the SSD connect to the phone. So, so I'm going to go into my settings here. I'm going to scroll down and look for my Wi-Fi, and then you should have a Wi-Fi here that says uh, My Passport, and you're gonna connect to it, and on the front of the My Passport is going to be a temporary passcode that you type in, you can, of course, change all that later through the app. But once it's connected there, we know we're good, and we can start to use the uh, SSD to back up our stuff. Okay, so now I'm gonna jump into My Cloud. Like I said, if I click on this three arrows on top, I see that ATN Passport is connected. I can change the name if I want, whatever. So once that's connected, you go into the area called storage. You'll see it right here. If I click on that once, you'll see I have a folder there called filmic dump. And that's what I like to call it. I just dump my footage in there. Uh, but you can, of course, call your, your folder whatever you'd like. If you'd like to add your own folder, your own names, you can add as many folders as you like, of course. And you just press the three buttons down here. You'll see new folder. Type in whatever you want. And you're good to go. I'm just going to cancel out of here for a second. If I make a mistake, I can hold it down and delete it and I still have my filmic dump but now if I go into filmic dump I can see that I have some footage in there from a while ago I must have not deleted it uh, but that's where everything goes and here we are back in filmic pro remember you're gonna lock your focus and you're gonna lock your exposure levels so we're good to go like that I'm gonna uh, record about 10 seconds of footage so we'll oops wrong button we're gonna press the circle button it's red now I see the time go by we're shooting 4K, 24 frames per second, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so I've got 10 seconds of footage. I just shot something common as hanging out with his um, amazing uh, hard drive. So I'm going to press the play button there so I can get into the footage. Here it is. Let's click on it once. And I'm going to go down here and do this little up arrow. And now it's giving me a bunch of options. I can airdrop it to my wife and son and I can do all kinds of stuff. But if I scroll here, you'll see it says my cloud. I'm gonna press that once. It's asking me which device. So that's the ATN passport. Of course, like I said, you can change the name of it. Now I've got a selected location. If I click that once, it looks like I wanna to go to storage and filmic dump. I click that once, there it is. I select it and now I press save. And there it goes, wirelessly transferring over, and um, it's good to go. So it's a really, really powerful thing to have uh, the ability to back up your footage. And you know, you could just get all the files ready to go, press the save button, walk away, have a coffee, do whatever, come back in a few minutes later, and you are good to go with all your footage saved there. And now you can bring that uh, SSD over to your uh, you know, desktop computer, your laptop, you can plug it in um, through a USB cable. Um, and you can also go and do the same, uh, plugging it into your uh, iPad Pro, for example, so um, and, and edit on there. So it's a great way to save your footage. If uh, you can put this into your budget, I highly recommend having one of these. 
Okay, so that's the demo of bringing in footage to your wireless SSD, uh, my passport wireless SSD from Western Digital.